Instead of calculating precision and recall individually and looking at each to make a decision as to the performance of a classifier, we can actually use at something called the F beta score. This is the general definition of the F beta score. The beta here can have various values depending on how much weight one wants to give to the precision value over the recall value. Using a combination of precision and recall, such as the F beta score, can be very helpful because it gives you one number to maximize rather than two. If you're trying to decide between two different models and one has a higher precision but a lower recall, which will you choose? One method would be to choose the model with the higher area under the ROC curve. Another method would be to choose the model with the higher F beta score. Now let's try to set beta equals 1. Setting beta equals 1, you can see that the F1 score is given by this formula. This is simply the harmonic mean of precision and recall. This kind of mean protects against comparatively high values of one of these against the other. The F1 score thus weighs the precision and recall equally. One can use different values of beta that gives different weights to precision and recall. Much like the loss function, the choice of beta here depends on the specific problem under consideration. We want to do a quick quiz on your understanding of F scores. In each of the following scenarios, which choice of F1, F0.5 or F2 be the best choice of metric? First, we look at cancer detection. If someone is falsely diagnosed, we may do some extra tests. If someone who actually has cancer is not diagnosed, they may die. In the box, give your appropriate choice. The second example is convicting to prison. People are innocent until proven guilty by US law. We want to avoid false convictions, but we also want criminals to not run free. In this case, what sort of F-score will we use?